It was now the 86th year of the reign of the judges, and the Nephites were still being cotton-headed ninny-muggins. <laughs> Nephi the prophet had taught them and reminded them to shape up, but that didn't work. There was a man, Samuel, a Lamanite, who had a few things to say about this. Ouch! That has to hurt. As he headed home, the voice of the Lord came to him and said something like, Samuel, they need to hear this message. Go back and tell them what's up. You can do hard things. I got your back. Samuel spoke to them about repentance. He spoke to them about the Savior Jesus Christ, about how he would be born in five years, and that there would be many signs of his birth. He even prophesied that the Nephites would be destroyed from the face of the earth in 400 years. Yikes. <laughs> Come on, guys, repent already. Some of those who heard him wanted to change, but most did not, and they were hopping mad. delivered the message the Lord wanted him to share. And he went back to preach to his own people and teach them. He was never heard from among the Nephites again. He vanished. Samuel followed the Lord's command and taught the people of Zarahemla. And the Lord protected him. Most did not listen. But some did, and were baptized into the church. Their lives had changed. Just like the people of Zarahemla, you have the opportunity to listen and hear the words of a modern day prophet. What will you do? How will you respond? Will you listen and follow his words? Or will you throw rocks and shoot arrows and try to keep him quiet? We are blessed to be led by a modern prophet who teaches and preaches the word of the Lord. As we follow his counsel, we can grow closer and closer to our Savior, Jesus Christ. But as many as there were who did not believe in the words of Samuel were angry with him, and they cast stones at him upon the wall, and also many shot arrows at him as he stood upon the wall. But the Spirit of the Lord was with him, insomuch that they could not hit him with their stones, neither with their arrows. Helaman 16, 2 
Thanks for watching the story of Samuel the Lamanite on Thumb Follow Me!